week five of the fantasy football season. And here's a few defense DST units. I have his sleepers this week. The first one, the Indianapolis Colts. So the Colts defense, I know they give up a lot of points this season, but they still have gone out there and put on some decent fantasy performances. So this week here in a matchup versus Tennessee Titans, where I don't think their offense besides Derrick Henry is that much of a threat here. But obviously Henry's got a great track record versus the Indianapolis Colts in his career. But this Colt team, like I said, they're bend but don't break type of defense. Last week they were down 23 nothing early. The defense held out and forced that game to overtime. And right now this week versus Tennessee, but one of the worst offensive lines in the league. I think this defense could make a few plays and have a decent day available right now in 87% of fantasy leagues. In the last few weeks, week three of Baltimore, 17 points allowed, four sacks, two fumble recoveries. And week four versus the Rams, 29 points allowed, two sacks and an interception. So this week here, I think they bounce back as this defense a little. They got a good matchup, like I said, with Tannehill and a poor offensive line. And if they could sell out and try to stop Derrick Henry and make Tannehill on the offense one-dimensional, I think this Colt DST could be decent this week. The next one's the Arizona Cardinals. So the Arizona Cardinals, I know their defense has been torched this season here, and they really haven't done much on the year. But right now, it's a decent matchup versus a banged-up offensive line in Cincinnati. And a Joe Burrow, who's probably 60 70 percent where he's pretty much thrown off one leg with a bad calf that keeps re-aggravating week in and week out so the last few weeks i know the fantasy points haven't been there for the cardinals week three versus the cowboys 16 points allowed two sacks and in throw and week four at san francisco they had negative in that one 35 points allowed and a sack so right now this week here like i said with a bad offensive line in Cincinnati with T. Higgins possibly not playing and Joe Burrow not 100%. If you want to take a shot in deeper leagues here, need a DST desperately. They're available right now. 98% of fantasy leagues. In the last two weeks, they didn't do good defensively as well because they versed pretty solid offenses, obviously, in Dallas and San Francisco, which I think is one of the best offenses in the league. In the third and final defense DST unit, I have as a sleeper this week here is the Las Vegas Raiders. I know this Vegas Raider defense isn't good at all, but this Packer offense is still young with a lot of young guys on this offense where mistakes could be made, especially in a primetime game on the road in Vegas on Monday Night Football. So this Raider team, like I said, they've been non-existent in fantasy football this season with their best game only being five fantasy points. So the last few games here for this Raider team, week three versus Pittsburgh, 23 points allowed a sack in week four. At the Chargers, 24 points allowed, two sacks, and then info. So this week here, the Packers give up the 19th most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. We saw this Packer team last week on a primetime game Thursday night get off to a very slow start until second half where they had to drop back and just throw the football and get things going, where they put some points on the board. So right here, this Raider team, 1-3 and three on the season. This is a big game for them. If they go to 1-4, and four, the season's most likely done in that division over there. For this Vegas Raider team. So right now, hopefully this defense could step up. The extra day of rest, Monday Night Football. And this week here, I think it could be a close contested ball game. And like I said, a lot of young guys on Green Bay where mistakes could be made. Gordon Love, Christian Watson, Romeo Dubes, Jaden Reed. So right here, there could be mistakes made, but also they could go off as well. So right now, if you're really desperate for a sleeper option, they're available 99%. Of fantasy weeks, so that's a few defense DST units. I have his sleepers here in week five of the fantasy football season.